blouse with short sleeve and opening on the front side it's really very easy and in this video tutorial i will give you all the instructions step by step for any size the stitch is the granny stitch we start from the armhole then we go ahead in rounds and if you like then you can add additional rows for uh, make the blouse longer and uh, in a, at the second moment we also attach a new yarn for the short sleeve so let's go to the tutorial for this project i'm using this kind of cotton and i work it with a crochet hook number four millimeters we are going to start our project from the arm hole you see so we can say that the number of chains is the same for all size what what is changing is the number of round because of course the more rounds you do the longer and the bigger is the size so we are going to start a foundation chain of 75 foundation chain of 75 is ready chain one to turn your work and in each stitch across this row single crochet one like that okay now chain two turn your work the first chain to um, count as first double crochet double crochet one into the next stitch and another double crochet one into the next one like that totally into the first three stitches i have double crochet three now chain one skip one stitch into the next three stitches double crochet three chain one and repeat till you create eight groups of double crochet three okay i did my eight groups of double crochet three now from here i have to create the first corner and then the second one in order to turn so from here chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one which is stitch number 33 i'm going to do double crochet two chain two and into the same stitch double crochet two again you see that doing that now i can turn now two groups of double crochet three so from here chain one yarn over skip one stitch and first group of double crochet three one two and three chain one yarn over skip next stitch into the next ones double crochet three second group and now i have to create the second corner into the stitch number 42 so chain one yarn over skip one stitch and into the stitch number 42 again double crochet two chain two and double crochet two again to create the second corner chain one 
and now skip next stitches and double crochet three I have to create on the other side another eight groups of double crochet three so that I reach the end of this row I have to repeat I show you this is the first side of my row now I have the turning area and now I have to repeat what I did in this very first side I have to repeat the same on the opposite side so eight groups of double crochet three and in between each uh, of in between chain one so chain one and double crochet three chain one skip one stitch and double crochet three all across this row row number two chain four turn your work now yarn over and now into the next space double crochet three and three chain one and double crochet three in each of the next spaces this way when you reach the first corner i will show you how you have to do okay friends we reached the first corner you see now from here into the last space i did my group of double crochet three now from here chain one and insert yarn over insert your hook into the center of the corner and do another corner identical double crochet two chain two and double crochet two again chain one and now into the next space double crochet three across the row you repeat the usual groups of double crochet three till you reach the next corner when i reach the second corner chain one and now into the corner of previous round i'm going to do a new corner made of double crochet two chain two and double crochet two into the same space like that now chain one into the next space double crochet three chain one into the next space double crochet three chain one and now go ahead with the same stitch till the end of this row end of the second row chain one and double crochet one into the second chain of the beginning like that now i am going ahead with this stitch pattern the granny stitch for 11 rows at row number 12 we are going to do um, uh, a decrease for the neck end of row 11 
now I have to start round 12 and I have to create the neck for my sweater so chain one turn your work now into the very first stitch single crochet one and single crochet one in each stitch across the row till you reach one two three four five six seven eight till you reach the eighth the group of double crochet three number eight okay next space I'm going to do single crochet one and double crochet two like that then chain one and go ahead normally with your granny stitch all the way around like that all the way around the only difference is that now each row will begin from here because we have to leave to skip all these stitches for our neck i completed both pieces of my blouse totally for medium size i did 19 rows so when your both your pieces are ready you have to bend them like that this way this is the first half this is the neck and this is the arm hole and this is the other piece so you have to join together on the back side you see and of course also on the shoulder once you have joined the two pieces you are ready to start working around the neck as finishing also one round of single crochet around the armhole and then since our blouse is a little short um, you can attach a new yarn here at the bottom of your blouse and start working uh, so many rows you need for your for the length you wish okay so now first of all you have to join the back side and the shoulder and then i show you the finishing of the neck and the finishing of the bottom have joined the two parts together now we have to work into the bottom of this blouse because of course it is very short so we attach a new yarn here where we have the corner on the front side we have two chains one and two into the second chain insert your hook pull the yarn through this way chain two chain three and four and now yarn over and into the next space double crochet three chain one into the next space double crochet three and now you have to go ahead working only on the bottom of the blouse to make it longer for many rounds for many rows you need and you like because you can decide how long your blouse will be okay 
So now you are doing your granny stitch only on the bottom of your blouse to make it longer, as long as you wish. Like that. After the two squares, I did another 12 row for the button of my the bottom of my blouse to reach the length I need okay 12 okay rows. now I'm doing the final board border at the bottom of my blouse and so chain one turn my work one single crochet into the very first stitch and one single crochet into the chain one space now yarn over skip next stitch into the next one double crochet for one two three four and now single crochet one into the next chain one space like that now yarn over again skip next stitch into the next one double crochet four one two three Four, and now into the chain one space single crochet one so go ahead like that all across the row now I would like to uh, give you some instruction for another kind of uh, decoration for the bottom of your blouse you can also do some bigger shells like that I will show you how to do it's very easy so that you can uh, choose the kind of uh, board you prefer so chain one single crochet one into the first stitch and single crochet two into the second now yarn over twice into the next space triple treble crochet three triple crochet three two and three chain two and now into the same space triple crochet three again two and three now go directly into the next space here and close your shell with one single crochet this way you have a bigger shell than the one I show you before. So show you again into the next space, triple crochet three. Chain two and triple crochet three again into the same space three now skip this group of double crochet and into the next space single crochet one go ahead like that all across the row I'm, I'm attaching a new yarn here here is the front side the corner between the opening side and the neck so pull pull it pull it your yarn like that and now single crochet one all across the row till you reach the opposite side of your neck 
okay like that okay I am at the end of the first row around the neck now chain one to a new work and now a second round second row sorry of single crochet it a uh, single crochet one in each stitch across the row but every six single crochet you have to do one degrees so one two three four five six and now one decrease just inserting your hook into the next stitch pull the yarn through the stitch two loops on your hook insert your hook into the next stitch pull the yarn through the stitch three loops on your hook and now pull the yarn through the three loops and that's your decrease so make one decrease each six single crochet end of row two chain one and turn single crochet one in each stitch across the row this time for this third row you have to do one decrease each eight stitches okay now row number four around the neck chain one turn your work one single crochet in each stitch across the row and do one decrease each 12 stitches this time after four rows of single crochet now we can do the last row for final finishing okay this is the last row finishing row i give you two possibilities uh, for your final decoration so the first one is from here chain one and single crochet into the first stitch then chain three skip one stitch single crochet one into the next one and now repeat always the same chain three skip one stitch single crochet one into the next one chain three skip one stitch single crochet one into the next one so go ahead like that uh, all across the row and this is the first decoration second one is single crochet two into the first two stitches yarn over skip two stitches into the third one double crochet five two three four five when the final decoration of the neck is completed now we have to turn without cutting the yarn we continue working on the lateral opening of the front side so into the last stitch we enter again for a second single crochet and then we go ahead just doing single crochet one in each stitch till the end of this row like that when you reach the last stitch of this row do single crochet two to turn and continue working just doing single crochet one in each stitch also into the border of the blouse all the way around so that you, re you reach the opposite side uh, so the other opening side of the front side and of course you have to do single crochet one also there like that to create the short sleeve i'm attaching here at the bottom of one of the two armholes 
I'm attaching a new yarn like that. Pull up the yarn through the stitch like that. Chain one. And now, sorry, single crochet one in each stitch across the row. Each 10 stitches you have to do one decrease so that at the end of this row you have 62 single crochet totally. This is the number we need for the following stitch pattern. Second row for the sleeve, now chain 2 and double crochet two into the next two stitches chain one skip one stitch double crochet three into the next three stitches and now repeat all the way around chain one double crochet three chain one double crochet three We are going to repeat granny stitch also for uh, round uh, three. So from here, slip stitch to reach the next space. From here, chain two and double crochet two into the next space. Chain one and repeat double crochet three. Go ahead like this all the way around. Round four. Now we have to reduce our granny stitch from double crochet three to double crochet two. So slip stitching to reach the center of next space. So from here, chain two double crochet one into this space chain one and into the next space double crochet two instead of three chain one into the next space double crochet two instead of one chain one and go ahead all the way around and and you have to repeat this stitch pattern till round number nine uh, round number ten chain one and single crochet one in each stitch across the row and now last round of my short sleeve <laughs> okay from here yarn over skip next two stitches into the next one double crochet three one two three chain one into the same stitch double crochet three again skip next two stitches and single crochet one now repeat this shell all the way around and your short sleeve is completed and you can cut your yarn so this is the sleeve completed you see